So everybody's talking about um, the new, what is it? big black dark lashes on looking crazy you know hi my loves welcome back to my channel okay so as you guys can see by the title this is going to be a get ready with me and for this get ready with me I'm pretty much going to be talking about my beauty favorites which hasn't been much um, stuff that I've been loving and I'll be using these products in this video for our little quick get ready with me all right, so um, I haven't tried any new primers or anything, but one thing that I've been using a lot of and loving, even when I haven't been wearing makeup, if you guys hear anything, that's the air. All right, so I've been loving this Estee Edit Beam Team Hydrate and Glow. I don't know if y'all can see this. This is um, something to help you illuminate. It's like a cream, and it also has... A little highlight in the cap I just thought it was super cute I've been using this actually without makeup because I haven't been wearing any makeup how y'all see me now is how I've been looking except with a little added glow when I put this on so today I'm going to use this as my base under my foundation that I'm going to use so yeah I'm recording this on Father's Day so I know it's women that watch me, but happy Father's Day to your husband, your boyfriends, your dads. I hope you guys enjoyed the holiday. Alright, so y'all probably can't see much, but yeah, I've been loving this to wear alone, to highlight my face and putting some mascara on and I'm good to go. So that's like my everyday makeup look. Alright, and for the brows today i'm all over the place it's been such a long time since i recorded a video i have not used this cargo brow kit as of yet so i'm gonna be using it for the first time today yeah y'all as far as my makeup i've been keeping it real simple i haven't really been putting on anything not even doing my brows nothing i don't know if it's because i'm being lazy and don't have time or i'm just not feeling it right now but i'm just gonna apply this to my brows this will be my first time using this so yeah so all of these are not my favorites some i may not have even used but i'll let you know in the video what i have been loving this powder is like um very intense i guess you could say and i don't really hear anybody talk about cargo so I've never heard anyone talk about cargo. And from the stuff that I'm trying, I really like. This is not new. This is what I use the uh, CoverGirl Clean Whipped Cream Foundation to clean up my brows. Hold on, y'all. All right, I'm back. And I cleaned up one brow while I was on the phone. All right, the next. But yeah, I've been loving this. I don't know if I told y'all this in one of my favorites before, but I hated this as a foundation. But I love it to clean up my brows. And I have old ones like I want to use It's Judy's Time today. I'm going to do something super simple and neutral. This is what my palette is looking like so far. As you guys can see, like these two down here. Some of my favorite colors. Fresh almost out of this concealer, which has been a favorite of mine, the Infallible Pro Glow. I'm going to use this for my primer today because it's not enough in here to prime underneath my eye. Not prime, but conceal my under eye. Well, I hope I didn't forget how to uh, put shadow on. It's been such a long time, y'all. So, updates on me. Um, I don't know. On my vlog channel, which a lot of you are not subscribed, I'm going to link it down below so you guys can subscribe and watch my latest video from probably like two or three months ago that I posted talking about um, my dad and how he had a stroke and all that. Um, so update, he's doing much better. He's out of the hospital now. He's at a rehab center. He had his spinal surgery to put his skull back on his head and um, all of that. So now it's just 
you know, trying to work to get some movement back on his left side and trying to get his life back to normal. But they had him at a facility that's like pretty far from me and my grandmother. And tomorrow he's going to be moved to a closer facility that's closer to my grandmother. Um, so yeah, that's good. So I've been, you know, dealing with that. And you guys know I have a new baby, which he's not so new anymore. He's about to be one in August. Can you guys believe it? I feel like I was just pregnant announcing to y'all that I'm pregnant on this channel. And it's just so hard trying to find a balance with him as far as like recording and stuff. It's very hard for me to record because I work full time and then I have to come home and I'm pretty much tending to him and Mason. We have homework, we have dinner, we have to get them ready for bed, then it's time for Ace to go to sleep and then by that time I'm sleepy. So it's really hard to find balance. So I'm trying to work on that and even on the weekends it's hard. But like me sitting here recording now, it feels right, it feels good. So I really miss recording. I can say that much. <clears throat> but y'all, this palette is so pretty. If you guys ever bought this palette and you still have it, I'm like encouraging you to take it out and use it. It's such a good palette. She did such a good job on this and I still love Judy. It's Judy time. I miss her first impressions. Like she's the one who inspired me to do first impressions on my channel because I used to love watching her first impressions. And I didn't show y'all the colors that I used. I used this color and this color for my crease. Then I used this color right, no, this color right here for my lid. And then I'm going to use this like dark brown over here to define. So that's it for the eyes right now so now we're finally going to move on to foundation y'all do you guys remember when i hauled um some products some stuff i got from kohl's their super clearance makeup and this cargo foundation that i had never heard of or anybody talk about y'all this is amazing i love this foundation so much so i'm going to show y'all it in action because i've never used it on camera and yeah it's like velvety Ugh, I don't know it's not like super oily it's it's just right like and I never heard of anybody using this foundation and let me tell you it's amazing and I feel like it matches me really good which I haven't used it since like it's been getting warm I don't think I got dark or anything so but yeah, just look at that blend out. Mm -mm. It's so pretty. I really appreciate a good foundation. Um, and I don't even know, it doesn't even say what type of foundation it is. It just says foundation oil free. But to me, it sets as a powder on your face. And it just looks so pretty. So now I need to find a concealer. I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild one that I haven't used in a while. The Photo Focus one. And what shade is this in? I don't know what shade it's in. Oh, medium deep. Still nice. I remember I used to love this so much. It's still so good and creamy. I'm glad I haven't really been buying um, new uh, makeup that's coming out because it's letting me appreciate my old favorites. So yeah. Let me face this way so you can see. When I also got this sponge from Kohl's that day. This is my favorite too. This sponge is so soft, so bouncy on the skin. Um, I just love it so and I don't even remember the brand of it if I can find the packaging I'll have it listed down below but yeah this sponge is really cool. all right y'all so the camera cut off on me 
So as y'all can see, I continue because we're not going to let this ruin the day. I do have somewhere to go. It's Father's Day, so I had to continue doing my makeup. So, whew, I'm out of breath. I believe we left off on the concealer. After that, um, I applied powder underneath my eye. And I almost forgot about that. And this is the Wet n Wild Press Powder. I just slid that underneath my eye. Not my favorite. I don't use this as a powder on my face. I use it to set underneath my eye because it's a little bit too light for my face. Um, after that, I use this Maybelline kit that I used to love so much and I can't believe I forgot all about. My little glass right here is broke, but I'm not getting rid of this. This contouring kit, I use everything. The contour, the blush, and the highlight in this. Love this so much. So, if you guys have it and you forgot about it, girl, take it back out. It's nice for spring and summer. All right, and then I applied my lashes, and these lashes are new, and I am loving them. They are from Ilor, the Jordan Woods collection, and these are in the lash called Beach Please. This is what it looks like. These are like a very natural, everyday lash. Let me zoom in for you. You can wear this even when you don't have makeup on it. It just looks very natural. Like, I stay, I say that I wouldn't wear like lashes to work and stuff but this lash is the type of lash that you can wear to work where you're not looking crazy and you got bat wings these dark big bat these big black dark lashes on looking crazy no these would be good for work and like every day so i am loving this and this is my first time trying any of ilor's lashes and let me tell you they're bomb the lash line is super thin so you don't even have to have eyeliner on It'll go against your, your eye line really good. I love it. So I'm loving it so far. And I also bought the other two as well. So I bought three different um, lashes from Ilor. The ones I have on is Beach Please. She also has LA Baby. This is what these look like. And then she also has Summer Air. And that's what these look like. So yeah, my first time buying any of Ilor's lashes and I love the ones from Jordan Woods. Um, for my lip color, which has been my favorite for every day, this Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Vice Waterproof 1993, I guess that's the color. This is so pretty. I've been wearing this with no makeup, with my, uh, my little glow, and just wearing this and some mascara, and I'm calling it a day. It's so pretty. It's the perfect, uh, it's more like a darker nude for me. But it's my type of nude. And I really like it. And it dries matte. It's not like sticky or it doesn't make my lips crack. It's like the perfect formula. And I purchased this from TJ Maxx. So check out your local TJ Maxx. They have a bunch of these in there. I want to find some more colors. But this is the only color that I got from them. From there, it was only $7.99. Add another layer. All right. And this is my look. Also, um, since I'm getting ready to leave, I'm going to go ahead and add my perfume. This has been my favorite too so far. Um, I purchased this the same time that I purchased my lashes. And this is my first time wearing the lashes. But I'm going to be wearing Escada Miami Blossom. You guys know Escada comes out with these limited edition scents and perfumes, I believe, each summer. And this is the newest one. I read the notes and I was just like, mm, I think I like it. So it was like a blind buy. I had never smelled it before. And then I got it and I was just like, yes, because I was looking for this fruity uh, scent. And this is a Audi Toilette, I guess is how you say it. And I love it so much. Um, a lot of people complain in the reviews that it doesn't last on them. Well, it lasts on me. I can smell it on me. Um, still like on my clothes and stuff. So maybe not the skin, but if you spray it on your clothes, it will last a long time. Especially like in this area, it tends to last for me. So yeah, if you haven't go out and smell it, if you love fruity, like sweet scents, you're looking for a new summer scent, this may be the one for you and the packaging is super cute it has a little pineapple on it it just it's just scream summer the beach you know heat it just smells really good so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sure it was all over the place my camera died and all that 
stuff but I am glad to be back recording. Oh I forgot to tell y'all before I go what mascara I use and I've been loving this as well. This is the e.l.f. Plump It Up mascara um, and it's in the color black. Love this. I did use this on my lower lash line and I've been loving this for when I just want to put on mascara. This is what I've been wearing by itself. So yeah, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please thumbs up this video. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. I cannot wait to record new videos. Like recording today has got me really excited. So thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Leave any video requests or anything that you'd like to see from me down below. Love you guys. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.